Hey guys, welcome to another Courtney's Kitchen video. Before I do anything else or say anything else, I want to just welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. We really appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being a part of this community. Also, I want to also thank everybody that have been liking the videos, watching the videos. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel. It and um, help the channel and it also help to to highlight content so other persons can learn other persons can see different culture and also um, you know people can get to see a part of um, who I am and what I can do so let us go ahead and get into this video right now I'm using two pieces of chicken breast Teriyaki chicken mostly, um, mostly are done with with thighs, right? But this is a breast family, <laughs> so we're gonna use chicken breast, all right? Um, here I'm just I'm just putting that chicken down, drying it. Um, it was washed already, and um, I'm just preparing it for for seasoning. Here I'll be using some chicken maggi seasoning. And a, and a tubes of chicken, um, sorry, a tubes of all purpose. I'll also be using some onion powder, I'll also be using some garlic and ginger. And you'll see throughout the video the things that I use, right? You also have the choice of using corn flour or corn starch is the same thing right two different names but serve the same purpose and um, you can use it directly on the chicken after you season your chicken you can just roll that chicken in the in the corn starch no what that does is help to keep the sauce on the chicken it's by choice I won't be doing it that way I'll be adding the corn flour to um, the sauce in the pot, alright? So, yeah. Here I'm just adding some black pepper as well as um, I'll be adding some garlic granules. You can use the oil of your choice. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. And, um, We'll be cooking this on medium heat and I'm just gonna allow the, the, the pan to just heat up a bit all right so we can get that golden brown look on the chicken Be very patient with this, with this chicken and also don't use something to coat the chicken alright you don't want that juice to, to escape so use something that can flip the chicken and not poke the chicken
Look at this. Color just coming on real nice. You can see the juice is kind of trapped on the inside. Alright, and the seasoning is just, just lovely. So now we're gonna be chopping up some garlic and ginger. This is to add to the sauce. If you are this far in the video, just touch that like button, it won't cost you anything. And just go ahead and just subscribe because more content will be coming out every single week. I'm working on my, 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 my schedule on, on, on getting the videos to you on time. So just touch that subscribe button and like the videos, comment, make suggestions, don't be afraid. Keeping the flame on medium heat won't burn your pan and the chicken will just slowly cook. So we're gonna start working on our sauce. Here we have some red wine vinegar. It tastes kind of similar, close enough to apple cider vinegar but a little bit different. Alright, just a little bit different. Close but not the same. Also, we're gonna use some light soy sauce, and uh, I'm just adding the amount that I want. Right, so um, you can follow the way that I do it. Also, you don't have to add the amount of dark soy sauce that you're going to see me using. That's just how I wanted it. If you want it with a little lighter color, just add a little less. All right. You can also add sugar because this is a Kinda, this sauce kind of have a sweet base thing going on but I'm not making my own as sweet so I'm just using honey you can add sugar I'll be adding this scotch bonnet pepper sauce a little later just for spice and flavor right you don't have to I just want a little spice in the sauce now these are finished I'm just gonna set them aside 
and um, prepare for prepare the sauce for the chicken. And still has all that flavor from the chicken and seasoning and everything so I'm not gonna wash it out I'm not even gonna add any oil I think enough, enough for me. All right, so after the, after the uh, onion and garlic are partially cooked um, just pour in the, the, the liquid and then about about quarter, um, about half teaspoon of of corn starch or corn flour, whichever one you have, and maybe about about five tablespoon of water to that stir, and then um, then you're going to add it to to the pan. Keep working that sauce around all over the chicken and don't allow it to burn just keep moving it around in the pot keep it on a low heat or maybe close to medium and just allow that sauce to come right down and stick to that chicken right as I said in the earlier part of this video I did not use any cornstarch or corn flour on the chicken by choice um, you can do so and you will get that the same look of the sauce totally embedded on the chicken or in, in the, the coating on the chicken and you won't have any any problem to look just as good if if, if not even better So here after letting it sit for about two or three minutes to retain that juice I'm just gonna slice in it and you can see the meat is not dry and the juice is not running out this is delicious and just to let you know 
the sauce you can keep the sauce like forever it's like barbecue sauce it's like a chili sauce it's like a sweet and sour sauce you just put it in a jar and just throw it in the refrigerator and you can have it for as long as you want right don't don't feel restricted or limited to to ingredients if you feel like you could do with some more spice or some more heat add it right just add it anyhow this is where this video ends thanks for watching please remember to subscribe like the videos watch the videos be blessed while you eat with your eyes, this is where this kitchen.